mighty God, everlasting Father, wonderful Counselor, Prince of Peace, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ and his Lord. This is not a multi-level marketing scheme or a ploy or some kind of seasonal celebration. Jesus is real and he is real to me because he is and I seek to know him in my life now. He will be on the other side too and even if I didn't believe. I would still know of him. I want him to say to me, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Not depart from me. I never knew you. You workers of iniquity and lawlessness or slaves to sin. Labor that you enter into the rest, his rest, Jesus' rest. Who are we working for? Everything is God's. We are to be stewards over all that we are given. We cannot do this alone. Imagine a world where no one managed to do anything with integrity or honor to God. At least we have a few here on this planet, but I want to know how to be one too. How to appreciate God's kingdom, His government, His power give my all to him whom no amount could ever repay and even if I could it would still be Jesus that bought my freedom with his own blood I can be grateful and treat others as if they were the last person on earth and I was trying to give them some good news and how can I do that mighty God wonderful counselor Prince of Peace, King of Kings. As I live in this reality of Christ and all and all in Christ, I am nothing and He is all. So it is with faith to know I cannot, but in Him only I stand. And God simply is not what I believe, but is what He says He is. So here in his word, he says, he is mighty. And if I am weak, tired, hungry, lonely, etc., that's just me. When I seek him, he is mighty. A breath of strength could swirl around my head. I am called to believe. In this action of faith, it pleases God to show me his strength. He is mighty. What then do I have to fear? There is a ton of other verses to back this up. However, in keeping it simple, I say, quick and powerful, this word cuts into action like a two-edged sword and pierces me in my innermost self. He is mighty, the rock of all ages, everlasting God, the prince of peace. And I labor to enter into his word, into his rest, sweating profusely in my flesh. As the word divides soul and spirit, alas, relief, as this knowledge, God is mighty, he in a wind of strength, it encircles me. And it pleases God to show me in his word. He is mighty in my weakness. He is strong. In my weakness, flesh is quickened and empowered to accept knowledge and faith. My spirit is consuming fire of God. And energy surrounds my very soul. 
I am reckoned of the Lamb of sacrifice forever and ever. And he lives in me. He is mighty. I believe.